Hi there, welcome back to French Shaves. It's time for a Tuesday shave. Tonight I'm gonna to use a soap, which is the craziest soap I got in my den. Inspired from Ivan Granholt's last videos with for sure for sure gothique from Barry Sermon, which is just a crazy, crazy scent. It's so strong, so complex. So dirty, so dark, but yet sp spicy, smoky. It's the most complex special scent I ever, ever have smelled. Oh, I should really wish I had the Eau de Perfume or the Splash. Wife hates it, I love it. She thinks it smells like fungus. But uh, there's a lot of mushroom in it, so it could be that. It's in the reserve base, great soap. I know I spoke the ladder with my Amber Hour Light brush from Phoenix Shaving. This is a 26ml. I think they're calling those synthetics not a hybrid knot, not a fan and not a bulb, but something in between. And the razor of choice is my Mule R89 with a third use Gillette 7 o'clock black. So we're gonna wet the brush and shake it off. And go straight to the tub and load up. Yeah, this soap is really something for itself. I bought it, I think it was a Halloween release when I bought it back in 2020, 2019, I'm not sure. And this was not the first release, it was the second run. When I bought mine, so we're gonna load it nice and heavy. Yeah, the scent is just filling the bottom straight. Take some cold water on my face. This soap really matches up with the weather we've been having. For the last couple of days, really, really foolish and not super cool, but really chill. We have not even been in the 60s. Just mid 50s, rainy and windy and gloomy. Oh, it's just banging in your face, this and really get the smoke. It has so many layers. This soap. So I have some problem with the reserve base of lad ring. I do not. I find that bladder is really great. But it's not a voluminous leather, it's more of a low structure kind of leather. But it's just about dialing in the right water and soap ratio and work it like every other soap. At least I find that works for me, but I have quite soft water here. So with hard water it could be a different story. This is a great brush, nice to hold. Really good knot. Oh, that was a fair bubble. Hmm. Yeah, so I hope Paris Man do uh, another release at some point of this soap with a splash. Then I need to go to the whole of the aftershave. I think Mother has the um, 
מה דברי סוס? חסתי עוד פרפום? אבל אתם לא כל שור. As you can see, it lathers like a dream. And the sand is just opening up in new layers, as you can see. I get some good earth, dirt, mushrooms. It's just incredible. It's a brilliant soap. Really good. Can't argue with that leather. That is really dense and creamy. No structures as I said. No crepe shade as almost always. Shaving with ice cold water. Here we go for a pass with the grain. I really need to do something in my sideburns. You are starting to go crazy. Need to trim them down a bit. Sorry. Oh yeah. Even if it's a really special scent, it's really sophisticated in some odd way. It's a very different scent to describe. It's a scent you need to experience. And I can tell you, it's a really experience to use. I have nothing in my den but anything near nothing that's even close it's maybe hollows which is really special as well the smell of death according to Will over at Barrett Elman. It's in the same street, I will say. But this has something more about it. It's just so complex and how, and it's really, really many layers. That just keeps opening up. Wow. <laughs> really good residual sleekness as well. As expected with Barrister and Man. It's great stuff. I think I'm just gonna go through the parcels tonight. I did three yesterday, so 
two seams fitting. I had a really close shave there yesterday. Woke up this morning and still looked quite good after the shave. Of course I could feel stubbles but I always can. I never go VBS. But uh, it looked good too. The scent is just continuing developing and it's really strong. Easy there, 8 or 9 in scent strength. I would say 8 from the puck, 9 ones lathered. I think we are good there. Just have a little feel. Yeah, it feels really nice going down for a cold water rinse. Good slickness on that one. And my old more block is really starting to crumbling off. It's just some pieces left. And one side is really sharp and uncomfortable. I haven't done it any justice with drying it off and that sort of thing, so I guess that's why. Zero feedback, so it did good with our two passes. I'm gonna rinse out my little bowl down here. Let the oven sit for some more seconds. Now the nose. I'm gonna do some aftershave with my Lucky Tiger aftershave face tonic. It really calms down the skin and has a night, night, nice citrus, citrus kind of scent. It has a bit of hazel in it, no alcohol. Looks really good, as an astringent. And it's, like it's a good size bottle, I think it's a, let's see. 8 ounces, 240 milliliter. So, let's strip the brush. Easily enough leather for another pass.
fool. Yeah, feels really, really good. We are gonna finish it all off with some Bloom Out Eye and Face Cream from Grun Lycka over in Sweden. This is a really good face cream. Just scoop it off. This little glass jar. My skin is a little bit wet, so now it turned into white, but that's okay. It will dry down and get into pores quite soon. This is quite thick stuff, as you probably can see. it sucks into your skin and it's really no problem if you don't overdo it like I did now okay so that was me done and dusted let me take a quick recap of what we've used we went with the most awesome scent special scent I have for sure Goutique from Paris Your Man I really love it we whipped up the leather with the Amber Arrow Light brush from Phoenix Shaving. The razor of tonight was my Mula R89 with a third used Gillette 7 o'clock black. And we finished it all off with some Lucky Tiger aftershave and Gun Mikka's facial cream. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and until my next video, have a good one.